3D printer update. Um, okay, uh, this is where it is at the moment. It's miles behind where this should be. Um, they actually ran out of parts, mainly um, T nuts. So anyone who's doing one of these and using this stuff, buy buy the T nuts, buy the bag of the hundred or so, because you'll need you'll need loads. So yeah, put that on hold for a bit. But anyway, so um, the Z axis is nearly complete. It's there's a temporary bracket here at the moment holding this in place. There's a tensioner slot. That's keeps everything nice and tight and in line and so it doesn't move the motor is locked up nicely um, well, this is still just temporary at the moment I've got an extruder well, one extruder drive mounted there's room for another one exactly the same as this but turned 180 degrees and will be mounted there so it will be a dual drive somewhere there. This is just hung here for the moment just for testing but it will actually sit somewhere here. Um, but yeah, back to what I'm going to explain is uh, just want to do a quick extruder test really. Um, I will be doing the, the rest of the, the carriage and that later on in the coming weeks. Uh, but I just wanted to do a test with this this extruder and heater that I've, that I've made is um, is a 120 watt heater at the moment, wired at 24 volts. And I'm uh, just going to do a quick test. I have I was having problems with the the original ones from China. Um, I couldn't really get them to run much above 240, 250 degrees. So I started making my own, and yeah, this is my version. Um, there's a water cooling block to go on this, I'll be getting rid of this fan so there'll be no fan blowing air around soon um, so this will be replaced but I've just been testing this and running this up to about 360-370 uh, but I've only got ABS at the moment so I've just fed some ABS in here at the moment so uh, I'm going to try this at 270 280 so uh, excuse the, the light from the flash let's get rid of that so yeah let's just set that for 270 get rid of that let's see how quick this gets up there So yes, um, I have put a limit switch, a standard limit switch down in there, just temporary, just so I can home this simply, but that will probably be replaced with a proximity switch later on, but, well, it, these it serves for homing at the moment, but when the chamber is heated, I'll probably change this proximity switch. So, uh, yes, get rid of the light, where are we? That's at 190, a bit more to go. I'm going to wrap this, this up and insulated it just so you can touch it, otherwise um, it's just a bit too hot to even glance it with your with your fingers really so yeah, you can hold it well not hold it but you can touch it briefly without burning so it helps especially when it's 300 plus 291 are we still going Maybe we should have stopped so like, it, it usually does overshoot a little bit and then settle itself out P and ID loop takes a while it's not set up properly I've just 
I've used, I've used the wrong um, profiles for this heater at the moment, so it's, yeah, it's all over the place. But so anyway, we've reached extrusion temperature, or exceeded extrusion temperature. So let's try an extrusion. Probably should have lowered the bed. Not going to plan. I should have lowered the bed before I even started this. Then, but there you go. And I'm extruding about 100 mil. But hey, at least it's extruding. It's proving the point. I am extruding. I'm extruding very well. Two, two seven four degrees. It says. making a blob tower. There we go. I've not retracted that so it's just going to carry on. I should hold the camera and just watch it for a minute. Okay, that'll do. Thank you very much. Right, let's do a Quick two mil reverse, and let's go. Let's go about there. Let's do another hundred mil extrusion. So two seven five. Reading it's now settled down a bit. So two seventy. We're a little bit under target, but you know, don't expect pure accuracy with a analog conversion and these thermistors. So uh, I know the PNID loop's not tuned properly and it is overshooting and undershooting, but um, they're not that accurate anyway. But this will do for now. Does it extrude? Yes, it does. Isn't there, got a string. So yeah, that's my heater extruding ABS at 275. Um, it's saying 75 millimeters per min. But I'm not quite sure if that's entirely correct. But another problem extruding ABS. Obviously, an all metal hot end now, so there's no liner or PTFE liner, it's metal all the way through. Uh, yeah, so yet to try polycarbonate. Um, I think this will do okay for ABS for now. Just need to hurry up and get the X and Y axis done so that we can do more than make um, blob mountains. 
Enjoy Point Lake Bay. Bay. Club Mountains, that's, that's fun. That's good. Mm, starting to smell. There will be a filter on this later on, especially uh, when doing polycarbonate. This is bad enough with ABS, but doing the polycarbonate now is going to definitely need a filter. Now I've made uh, some, some islands. Um, not actually layered together properly. That is pretty strong. Let's just go up a bit more in temperature. Let's just, um, let's just try to. You know, see, I'm holding 280. Let's just try 290. And, uh, Thank mm -hmm. you. 